to get you ready for your Tuesday morning with the morning sprint. All right, Mark Peterson says there'll be plenty of sunshine and less wind today. And Caroline Flynn is live with fire experts telling us how to protect our homes. But first, Kelsey Morgan with details of a fire in Grant County that exploded overnight, growing 10 times in size, Kelsey. Well, last night, officials said the 243 fire east of Vantage was about 300 acres. Overnight, it ballooned to 3,000 acres. Anywhere from 25 to 75 homes on Beverly Brook Road are under urgent level three evacuation notices right now. Deputies went door to door there last night. This morning, level two evacuations were issued for people in Beverly, Shawana, and Wanapum Village. That just means be ready to evacuate. The sheriff's office also says the entire Mattawa area is out of power. They have no estimate for when that will be restored. Right now, all efforts are on fighting the fire. Crews say weather and terrain are both making that difficult. Sagebrush and grass and uh, it, it kind of steep terrain, but we also had some pretty significant winds last night that were pushing the fire, and that's what caused it to grow so great. The National Weather Service says those winds were gusting up to 20 miles per hour overnight. Crews say some buildings were lost, but no homes. Washington's fire marshal authorized uh, sending statewide resources to help get this fire under control. And with wildfire season upon us, it's time to have our homes and our families prepared and ready to go should disaster strike. Now, this morning we gave you a bunch of different tips, different things to remember from getting your emergency kits all ready to go, having things inside like important documents, medications, an extra phone charger. We also talked about getting a family plan set up and making sure you're sharing it with your kids. One thing I didn't mention, though, when it comes to getting your home prepared, of course, make sure any flammable items are at least five feet away from your home, but also make sure that your address and your name is somewhere that's visible and make sure that your entrance is cleared. Such important stuff that you can be doing right now, getting all done today. All right, the good news uh, for the 243 fire and for much of central and eastern Washington, less wind than yesterday. We are going to see a little bit of cloud cover, mainly to the north as it comes across northeastern Washington, north Idaho. Uh, we're going to stay mostly sunny and, again, calmer than what we saw. Your 10-second takeaway. It is a cooler start than we've gotten used to, so you're going to wear a couple layers, certainly as you send the kids out the door. Hopefully it'll get home because it's warming up to above average 77. A new development in the case of a local mom who disappeared. Deputies say they found 24-year-old Arizu Kashifi's van at the airport this weekend, but still no sign of her. Kashifi was last seen May 25th. Three days later, her husband boarded a flight out of the country. The couple's kids are now in the custody of Child Protective Services. Anyone with information about where Arizu could be is asked to call Crime Check at 456 the Trump baby blimp that flew over London once again this morning. The balloon meant to mock the president was flown outside the British Parliament as a protest to his official state visit to the UK. Organizers had permission from police to fly the inflatable for two hours. Others gathered on the ground for anti-Trump demonstrations. Today, President Trump will meet with Prime Minister Theresa May. Detectives are trying to figure out how a missing man ended up dead in the Spokane River. 56-year-old Ricky Coffey's body was found downtown in, on Saturday. Coffey was last seen at the Walmart on North Colton Street May 11th. His car was found abandoned near Spokane Community College May 15th. Spokane police now want to know if anyone saw anything suspicious at that Walmart or have any information that could help them figure out what happened to Coffey or how he died. Coming up next on Good Morning America, a real estate reality check. If you're looking to sell your home, now is the time to do it. But what's worth doing before you put it up on the market? Even if it might not be the most modern fixtures, it still works all right. But other things like floors are probably worth fixing up. GMA has all the expert tips. Down goes Jeopardy James. A 27-year-old librarian bests the seemingly unbeatable champ just as he was on the brink of setting the show's all-time money record. Well, the future Riverfront Park will have a brand new playground, but before they start building it, park planners want to know what you and your kids would like to see in it. They plan to make it an inclusive playground with equipment for children of all abilities. It will also have an educational element with interactive activities to teach kids about how the Ice Age floods shaped this region. It will also include a skate park in a basketball court. At an open house tonight, you can help participate in the design development process and tell the designers what your kids would actually like to use. It's happening from 6.30 to 8 tonight in the council chambers at City Hall. Construction on that playground set to begin next summer. 
Katy Perry, Luke Bryan, and Lionel Richie are coming to Spokane. The American Idol tour bus has just announced it will make a stop in Spokane this September. Spokane is one of 20 cities across the country where auditions will be held this year. If you think you have what it takes, you can register for the in-person auditions online or submit a video audition. We have a link to that posted for you on KXLY.com. You may have some recalled chicken in your freezer. Purdue Food just recalling more than 31,000 pounds of its product because they may be contaminated with pieces of bone. The fully cooked chicken items were produced March 21st and shipped to stores across the U.S. The problem was discovered through consumer complaints, although the USDA says there have been no reports of anybody being injured. If you have any of that chicken, throw it away or returned it to the store where you bought it. The intersection of Highway 95 and Kathleen Avenue in Quarter Lane will look like this for months. A drunk driver ran into the traffic signal this weekend. Now it has to be completely replaced. Idaho's Department of Transportation is installing a temporary signal this week to help get traffic moving, but they want to warn drivers there will be lane closures as they install it, so you can expect detours and delays. Tonight, no live brew house in Spokane will have its first weekly speed ball tournament. You'll, uh, they will now happen every Tuesday evening, 6 to 9. You'll just have to sign up at 6. Each player gets at least three rounds to run up their score. The top three scores will get free gear to take home. So hit and miss on that ski ball thing, but Mother Nature hitting it big time today. Sunshine, calmer, 77 today, 77 again tomorrow. The cold front comes in tomorrow night. Thursday, we see an increased chance of showers in colder, 65, 63 Friday with a 30% chance of showers. Probably your best day for some thunderstorm activity. And then Saturday, a 50% chance of rain. So alternative plans for some of those graduation parties on Saturday. Sunday looks better. All right, we'll continue to keep you updated on that 243 fire burning in Grant County and any further evacuation updates when we return for an update in about 25 minutes. Yeah, in the meantime, now, do Good Morning America.